the Titan submersible went missing within two hours of starting its trip to explore the wreckage of the Titanic. The cause of the implosion is not yet known, but Ed Casano, CEO of Pelagic Research Services, said that the submersible may have been pushed beyond its depth rate. Casano's company deployed a remotely operated vehicle that reached the Titanic wreckage within 90 minutes. The debris of the Titan submersible was discovered shortly after. The recovery operation turned into a recovery mission when it was clear that no one had survived. British billionaire businessman Hamish Harding, British father and son Shahzada and Suleiman Dawood, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush and former French Navy diver Paul Henry Nargillet were the five people who perished in the accident. The US Coast Guard has recovered presumed human remains from the Titan wreckage. United States medical professionals will conduct a formal analysis of the presumed human remains. The entire incident has raised serious questions over the safety of similar adventure missions, including private space trips. The Titan submersible was designed to dive to depths of up to 13,000 feet, but it is possible that it was pushed beyond its limits during the accident. The remotely operated vehicle that was used in the recovery operation was equipped with a sonar and a camera, which allowed the operators to see the debris of the Titan submersible on the seafloor. The presumed human remains that were recovered from the Titan wreckage have not yet been identified. The US Coast Guard is still investigating the cause of the accident, but they believe that it may have been due to a mechanical failure. Some experts have argued that these missions are not sufficiently regulated and that there is a risk of accidents.